Hi fellow reefers, this is Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. In today's video I'm going to do the unboxing of the Innovative Marine Skinmate Go Skimmer, the midsize, the one that I'll be using on the Innovative Marine Nuvo 40. I'm simply going to do an unboxing. I'm going to show you little features of it and little things and hints that I have learned about how to eliminate the micro bubbles and where I'm going to place it in the tank. So here we go. Take the collection cup off first. Okay, here we are. Okay. And let's take the skimmer out. It comes very well packed. Very, very well packed. You see, it comes with uh, one styrofoam on one side and one on the other so in shipping uh, nothing happens to it okay then we have the plastic plastic cover let's take that out course uh, we have the instructions let's put them back here and then let's put back the um, collection cup. okay this is basically how it looks uh, there's different ways of adjusting the uh, height of the uh, water when it goes into the the inner uh, tube the one that the bubbles will stay there will cascade to the cup having that coffee color um, skimmed material, the protein that's coming out of the tank. This valve you see here, this is basically just uh, if you don't, uh, I mean if it takes out a lot of skim material and you happen to have not cleaned the collection cup, it will just drain and of course you would put a line going out to a, a, let's say like a one gallon jug or so. Okay, this is basically the construction. Let me show you on the bottom. This is the, the, the pump that comes with it. Very easy to do maintenance on it. All you have to do is just uh, disconnect here the lines and just take from, you know, the cable, just take it off from this slot. You can go ahead and do maintenance on the pump. And then here, this is the uh, air line that's going up. Of course, it's bending and coming here to the air intake. Okay, now what I was reading on these skimmers is that you should try to see, you know, when you regulate the, uh, the water, you should try to see if you can keep the air valve completely open. That's, I mean, that's what you're really shooting for, that you keep the air line complete, you know, the air valve completely open so you can regulate the water inside here by other means. And by this, what I mean is there's two ways. Number one, you could either get some egg crate, place it on the bottom. If you raise the skimmer, the water level will go down, so you can adjust it that way. Now, another way that I didn't know this, it's the uh, rubber gasket. What you can do is you can actually bring down this gasket, as I'm doing here, you can bring it down and of course now, as you notice, the collection cup is higher. So that would also regulate the actual water in the uh, inner uh, tube, which is where the water is going to be spilling out. So you can do that or again, uh, you know, you can go ahead and just, uh, once you regulate it, you can either bring this gasket up or down and that would do the actual trick to get the proper height of... Uh, of the uh, water so it will actually skim. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to the tank and I'm going to show you where I'm going to place the uh, protein skimmer and a little trick that I learned from other YouTubers how to eliminate the micro bubbles if they if you see that some of them are in the uh, water column and the main tank display there's a way that you can eliminate them. 
So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, folks, and here I'm going to show you where I'm going to place the ghost skimmer. Okay, if you notice, uh, this uh, the airline should face towards the uh, front. And here's where I'm going to place it. I'm going to place it on the next um, the next compartment right next to where I'm going to put the actual uh, custom caddy. So that's how it would be placed. And now I'm going to show you, I'm going to go and do another shot on the side and I'm going to show you what I was talking about, how to eliminate the uh, micro bubbles. Hold on. Okay, folks, this is the concept that I read about uh, how to eliminate the micro bubbles on this ghost skimmer or any other skimmer. Okay, let's say for argument's sake that I put the protein skimmer here, right next to the, um, the media basket, the custom caddy that I'm going to put here. Okay, what happens is, if you notice, these tanks have a, another uh, separation. They have a wall here and a wall here. Okay, that middle section from here to there, there's a steady level of water. Now that water that's being, uh, it goes into these inlets, but then once it fills, it goes to, the, to this one in the middle, and then they both cascade to the middle. Matter of fact, the middle section is where you would put your sensors for your ATO, because in the middle section from this wall, or separator to the separator, that's a, a steady level of water. When evaporation happens, then that center section is where the water is going to go down. But that being said, being the case, uh, if you put, let's say, the protein skimmer here or there, it doesn't matter. Okay, the micro bubbles that might be created from the uh, protein skimmer, of course, are going to uh, cascade. They're, they're, they're going to flow to the center compartment. So what do you do to eliminate the micro bubbles in the center compartment? Simple. Number one, like I mentioned before about the water level, what you would do is you always try to keep the water level in the middle a little lower. And then two, all you have to do is put a little piece on the side of the wall where the water is going to cascade to the middle. On that section, just put a, a little piece of uh, uh, filter pack. Those uh, filter floss that they sell that they you put on your on your wet and dry and all that, just cut a just cut a, a little piece of that uh, filter pad and put it on the inside of the wall next to the protein skimmer. So when the water cascades to the middle, that will uh, that filter pad will be your bubble trap. And then once the water goes down to the uh, to the end and gets picked up by the pump, you shouldn't have no micro bubbles in your display area of your fish tank. So that's basically it. That's what I wanted to bring up and again like I always say if you like this uh, video, you found it enjoyable, don't hesitate to hit the like button or make a comment on this video or subscribe to my channel. And at the end of the video, like I say on all of them, happy reefing and thank you very much. For